Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to translate the media using WPML. And for example, I have my simple blog post and I want to change it, for example, this one in Spanish. It's really easy if you, for example, you want to say that you have other phrase here or, or any other thing that you want to change. It's really easy to change it. Also, if you have videos that, for example, you have the English version and you want to change it to German, to Spanish or to any other. It's really simple to do it. We can just go here pretty quick to the WPML area and to change all the media and all the images. You just have to go basically to the image that you want to change. But for example, here I have the this image of cloud hosting. We will go here and select the image that we want to change it for. And let's say we have it here in hosting in la nube for Spanish. And we just upload. If we have the alt name, we can just or the name also the, of the image. It will change eventually. So we just click here, scan and replace. And also we'll go to the image, to the video translation. So to translate any uh, video that you have on your website, you will have to search it for the strings translation. And let's say here, we have here the URL. So we copy here the copy, the, the text. And we will have to change the YouTube URL in this case. Or if you have self-hosted or Vimeo, you can actually change. So I will go here just to get the link of my Spanish video. And it will save automatically. So you don't basically have to do that much. Just save or change the URL of the YouTube video. If you're using Elementor, you will also have to look for the, your own YouTube video and do the change. And if I go back here, I will just do the change to Spanish. And as you can see here, it's showing the Spanish version of the image. And also it's showing the English version of the video. So as simple as that is how you can change images and video to the correct translated version. So I hope that this video helped you. So I hope that this video helped you. If you have some more questions about WPML, don't hesitate to write on the comments or any suggestion. Thanks for watching.